guys, it's Nancy, and I wanted to show you guys um, some of the final assembly of the new um, Spellbinders sealed collection. This is part of the Better Press sealed. Um, so these sentiments were part of the Better Press. Um, you are everything. And I did a very long video on better pressing and cutting everything out. So these were the sentiments that you'll see on the cards here. And then this one came out really nice. This is the Cosmos backdrop and the um, stencil. This was its own video, so you'll be able to check that out. But I put it together with the sentiments. And you can see how beautiful that came out. And I used the Lisa Horton ink so you can see that shimmer in there. But look how nice that came out. And the background paper is the poppy paper from the Spellbinders um, Colors Essentials cardstock. And that's all I did was matted it on that paper and just popped up the sentiment with some Spellbinders little foam squares. And look how perfect that one came out. So that one's one of them. And then this one was the friend like you bouquet that we had better pressed out and then remember oh nope not that one a smaller one we're going to come back to that one it was when i put that one uh oh oh i lost it already oh it was on the back side i was trying to put everything away so i didn't lose it and i put it away okay here it is sealed florals with the sealed cord and faux sealed sentiment. So in the beginning of the video, I did this one. Well, I went in and I colored it with color pencils. And then we went in with the sealed cord and did the sealed cord. And remember, there also is a new wax seal, which is the wax seal stamp, Timeless Blooms. And I put that in and then I just colored it in with color pencils. And again, some more of the cardstock from that same um, cardstock. Um, Color Essentials cardstock from Spellbinder. So that's using that. That card is from there using those. That came out pretty nice. And then this one is the one that I really kind of took my time coloring. This one is the um, Blooms. I kind of just put them in. I love these little folders from scrapbook.com. That's what I store everything in. But this one is the larger Blooms. This is the flower stems. And this is Better press plates and dies. So I just fold them in half, tuck them in these little pockets. Keeps everything nice and stored for me. But I had die cut those out and again, use that same cord. And what I did was I took a little X-Acto knife and just cut and tucked my florals in there. And here I use the actual faux seals so these are the little faux seals that come in with the cord. Best wishes, hello, um, thank you, just for you. There's another one stuck behind here. Love you, feel better soon. And I put that right there and then I added another one of those sentiments. Thanks for just being you. And I added those, so plenty of sentiments. And these I just colored with my Zig markers and add a little bit of watercolor brush and made that. So these cards I think came out really, and I just ink blended some ink on the back of the card there. So this one came out pretty nice as well. And then there was one more that I had made, but we didn't finish, so I thought we could assemble that one together. And that one was using the larger um, A Friend Like You bouquet that we had better pressed out. And I had done the thanks sentiment on that one, but it comes with three sentiments, hello, smile, thanks, and then a smaller sentiment that says happiness is having a friend like you, okay? So I thought, let's make this one a larger five by seven card, even though I had better pressed it on a smaller five and a half by four and a quarter card, I wanted to show you guys that even though it was a larger panel and I didn't do five by seven, we could make a five by seven card. So I have cut a five by seven card. We're gonna color this in. I've grabbed a piece of that same um, card stock. Um, this is again, the Bright's sampler pack. I've grabbed a, a bit of the yellow card stock. I figure we can make that a five by seven and I'm gonna grab some black card stock. And I'm just gonna border this just to give it a little bit of a frame. And I'm 
using my Spellbinders trimmer. And I'm just eyeballing it. I don't have exact measurements here. Do that. And then this one, I do want to do five by seven on this one. And actually, I'm going to do the 3D embossing folder on this. Let's use the 3D embossing folder of the month. I'm going to spritz this. that little bit of a florally vibe. This is the January. You're only going to see a little bit of it in the background anyway. I just need my A plate, my B plate. I'm sorry, my A plate. I don't think we need the B plate, right? Just the A plate. Yeah. A plate, embossing folder, and 3D embossing folder is the D. Alright, All right, so we're just going to set that aside. Beautiful floral that's just going to be in the background. And again, that's the 3D embossing folder of the month for January. Okay, and then that'll just, yeah, that'll look nice on there. And again, I'm just going to grab my zig markers and color this in. Or you can use your Kareen markers, whatever you have. And I just have a little piece of paper towel here. And I'm just using my glass mat as kind of my palette. This is just a little bit of light brown. I think this is called oatmeal. Yep, oatmeal. And this is just a watercolor brush and I just pick up a little bit of that color Coloring in my twine, that might be a little bit too light. Let's go with a darker brown. Might bring in my Kareen markers just so I have some more color choices. That's almost like a, a rusty coppery color. It is called brown. Real creative. <laughs> and you could better press a whole bunch of these because once it's set, um, that better press ink is... Um, it's an archival ink, so it's not going to go anywhere. Um, you can watercolor over it. You can color pencil over it. You can take it with you, so you don't have to color it right away. So you can do a whole bunch of these and give them as gifts, and, and your, whoever you give them to can color them in. You can give them and leave them blank and not color them in. So I like to do them and then color them in later. You don't have to color them in right away is, is what I'm saying, so... All right, and then we have these these little flowers up top. I don't know why I always look at them and think they're little purple flowers, but I guess you could do them any color you want. But for me, I always imagine they're little purple flowers. Or pink. If you want a more concentrated color, you go in with more color. If you want it... To be lighter, you go in more with more water. So 
why I like putting the color down on my mat because then I can kind of control how much color goes down and also control the, the concentration of the color, but then there's less brush strokes as well. Um, or if you go directly in with the marker, then there's some brush strokes and I don't like that. much water I just take my paper towel and lift some of that up And if it gets too wet, like this leaf is too wet and you're not getting the color saturation you want, leave it alone, come back to it later. Okay, what do we got here? Now see this, I think I want a more concentrated color so I'm gonna go right in with the marker. And it's such a small area, that's all I'm going to do is just go right in with the marker. Okay, that's a little too blue. I want that cone flower to be kind of purpley blue, so I'm going to add a little purple to that blue. For the stems, they're super thin, so since these markers have an ultra-fine tip, and that's that's really why I like these zig markers, just because of the ultra-fine tip, but you can use any watercolor-based markers. I have the, the Korean markers are a little bit thicker, but any water-based markers will work. Use what you have. Or watercolor pencils will work, watercolor crayons, whatever you have. Watercolor paints. You don't need anything super special.
And again, these, these buds are kind of small, so there's not a lot of area to move, and I want this color kind of concentrated. So I'm just going to go in with the marker and just color direct. There's no right or wrong way. You do whatever you want to do. You don't have to use the same mediums. You can mix and match your mediums. You can do it any way that you feel comfortable doing it. It's an interpretation of your your feeling of the art. Just remember that. There's There's no one that says you have to do it a certain way. You do it the way you want to do it. I think people try to duplicate the things that they see when they're watching these videos and stuff. You don't have to do it that way. You do it any way you want. I'll see this flower could be a tulip. It could be a poppy. It can be whatever you want. I'm going to kind of make it an orange red poppy. So a little bit of red. A lot of orange. I'm really kind of focusing the darker part of that color along the line of the layers there. And then I'll come back in and fill in and make it a little lighter. Where it's, uh, I'll pull that color out from those layers. So now, now the, the, the color's there right along the line. And I can pull it out. I'm going to push a little bit of water out of my brush here onto the mat. Oh, just a little. Just so it lightens it a little bit. Too much, too much, too light. Here we go. And then, of course, you can add more, you know, to the outline. You can do some ink blending, whatever you want to do. I think I am going to do a little bit of ink blending, just, just so it's not so um, harsh around the edges. A little bit of ink left on this, because I just did a card and had a little bit of blue ink left on the edges. So I don't need a lot of ink here, just a little bit. I want to make sure everything else is pretty dry. Otherwise, it's going to smear what's still wet on there. So just a little bit. So you can see coloring is okay. I mean, it's handmade. All right. That is my watch. My new watch is very loud. I need to figure out how I can turn that down. Whoa. All right. I'm going to do this. 
try to make sure that that is straight. That is definitely not straight. Try to go all the way to the edges and then a lot of glue because this is a 3D embossing folder so there's a lot of nooks and crannies. We want to make sure it stays down. So always to the edges and then all through the middle. Liquid adhesive tends to work pretty well. And again, this is a five by seven card. A lot of you have started um, requesting larger cards from Spellbinders. A lot of you guys are in um, European countries where you make bigger cards. So they have made these embossing folders to equip or handle bigger cards for you guys. And this better press plate, again, is a larger format. So you can make, even though I made it in a five and a half by four and a quarter card size, you guys can make this easily as a five by seven better press size. You can see how much larger it is. I cut the top off, but um, you could easily make this a five by seven card. But I have converted it for you guys. And I'm gonna put this at a little bit of an angle so it's not completely straight. I think I did that last month too. Wasn't it the January of the month kit? I did a same kind of thing, right? earlier in the month I should say not last month all right so these are all of the cards I've made I did the kind of unboxing video and it was a very long video but I wanted to show you guys um, some of the finished cards I made I think this is a beautiful collection for those of you guys again who who not only just got the better press remember all of these can be used in the glimmer if you got the glimmer set or you'd like to do hot foiling all of these better press plates can be used for hot foiling as well so there are a couple videos you guys can go back and watch uh, me actually create the better press part of it um but I wanted to show you guys the finished cards. Again, the plates are called A Friend Like You Bouquet is the one that we just used today. So it's a much larger plate and it looks great colored or it looks great just leaving it alone. Um, the individual florals with the dies, that's these guys here. These big florals, you get three big florals and two individual stems. Those are called flower stems. Those come with the florals and it comes with the cutting dies. And then we have a little bit smaller one. This one is called Sealed Florals. And he's perfect, perfect little size for note cards. That's this guy right here. And then we have, I think this one's going to be very, very popular because of the popular wax seal of the month kit. This comes with the little seals um, and the dies to cut that out. But this is called the Sealed Cord and Faux Seal Sentiment. So I think this is going to be popular not only with Better Press, but also if you are doing um, Glimmer, you can you can foil this as well. So you can foil this, you can use it with your wax seals, you can use it without the wax seals, but I think this one's going to be pretty popular. Um, this one I really enjoyed using. This is the Cosmos backdrop. This is the one, again, you can use it with the better press, you can use it with the stencil or without the stencil, but I think this is going to look really cool if you foil it with the glimmer and then use it with the stencil. So everything that's black would actually be foiled and then use it with the stencil. So that would look really cool. Let me know if you'd like to see a video doing that. If I glimmer it and then stencil it, I'll do a video if there's enough comments saying you wanna see that Cosmos foiled. That's what you need to comment if you wanna see Cosmos foiled. And that's the, uh, has a stencil if you'd like to purchase the stencil separately. And then last but not least is, I always say there's not enough sentiments. So this is the sentiments. And again, the sentiments are all one piece. And then the dies cut them out is all one piece. So you get both of these together. I love that um, Spellbinders doesn't make you choose. They give it to you all together. So thank you Spellbinders for that. But that is called the You Are Everything sentiment. So I will have the link for everything down below. If you have any questions, post them down below. Oh, don't forget the new wax seal. 
That is called the Wax Seal Stamp uh, Timeless Blooms, okay? And there are no, some new Wax Seal colors as well in the shop. I show those in another video. I'll link that video for you. And if you are not a member of the new club kits, there are some new club kits as well. Check those out. But we do have a Wax Seal of the Month club kit, which gives you a new Wax Seal. And you get a full bag of 100 pieces of wax pieces every month. There's Better Press of the Month. There's Glimmer of the Month. Um, there's a new Stencil of the Month. So there's a lot of things that are new over at Spell and Vangers that you'll want to check out. If you had fun watching me make this video, please give me a thumbs up before you leave. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing by clicking the little button down here and the notification bell. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.